Okay, so Amanda, this section of it is just to kind of give you a quick view of where the batteries are at and some of the switches that are in the starboard uh, forward section of the boat here. So this little door opens up and you can see there's, you know, the windlass breaker and the electronics breaker and the hot float power. Hot float is power that stays on all the time. And essentially all your bilge pumps, even if you turn all the other breakers off, they all got power going to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can't disable. There's a third wire that goes to all eight bilge pumps and that all comes through this hot float fuse. There's a few other things that connect too. Some of the computers and stuff want to have power all the time. Mm -hmm. This is where it comes through. Um, so it's just good to know that's there. Mm -hmm. And then I'll close the door and pull the floor up. This uh, little pull string here um, is... Uh, For that? Just to be able to pull the floor up yep. once the door's open. Let's see if okay, I can bye. do this. <laughs> all right. Ta-da! So, ta -da. <laughs> So this is uh, two of the golf cart batteries and the uh, 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 electronics battery right there. And look at how they're even labeled on the sides. Um, you know, house battery, yeah, electronics right. battery. And then there's another set of batteries. Can you see underneath forward? Another set of golf cart batteries there too. A little um, farther forward. Looks like there's a bulkhead there. Oh, maybe it's on the other side of the bulkhead. Yep. <laughs> All right. But anyway, good to see those. Yep. And the reason we use these size batteries rather than like an 8D or something like that is a human being can pick these batteries up. Yes. And, and getting them on and out of the boat without chipping or dinging something. Yeah. Yeah. Much easier. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. <laughs> I I've hate done things. the other. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy. I, I don't know. I don't know how they get some of those huge batteries in. I had a 42-foot trawler that had been my dad's and... I mean, two big guys just about killed themselves to mm -hmm. get them in and out of the boat. Mm -hmm. And we had like four of them in there. It was just a train wreck. So mm -hmm. anyway, I, I hate things like that. Um, but again, have you noticed that even in the areas where you don't really see normally, where mm -hmm. you have to dig, mm -hmm. notice how it's all finished beautifully. Yeah. All the wires are done first class. There's no no shortcuts with an Aspen at all. Yeah, it really looks even, nice. Even the table, even this, the flooring here, mm -hmm. notice it has a gasket. Look at the backside is sealed too. Yeah. So all the details are just right on an Aspen. Yeah, absolutely. All right, um, but this one back, we'll find the other two batteries. Okay. And also, I'll switch with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's some, uh, some of those remote control battery switches and stuff in there too. Okay. All right, and so again, super nicely done. And then you can also see the other thruster up here. Right, right. The forward thruster. And the floor in that uh, hanging locker is a, a removable floor so that you, uh, can, to get to get to the, that. Mm -hmm. you can get to that if you needed to. That's really nice. So, Good thought. Yeah, yeah. Notice the big door. This is typically the gal side of the boat. She gets the bigger hanging locker. Thank you. And she also and her gets, little uh, makeup little counter. Yeah. Here. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and I love this too. Doesn't this yeah. come down? Yeah, that comes it can down be a little, here. Yeah. And then you've got um, your uh, hair dryer, your computer, mm -hmm. hair dryer, and look at this. There's even a light. A light, yeah. Push that. Ta da! <laughs> Very Lots nice. Of details. Hey, but let's swing along here. You can see this. This is control for the furnace um, on the boat too. So this one has two air conditioners and a furnace. Mm -hmm. And to engage the furnace. You basically push this button on, and I'm not going to do it because um, I don't want to have to go through the whole cycle. Mm -hmm. But you push it on, hold it to three seconds or so, and then the flames here will light up. Mm -hmm. And then it goes through this whole startup process that takes about eight minutes. And then it'll come on, and you basically can adjust how much heat you want to come on. You can also turn on just the fan itself. But the trick here is... If you get impatient mm -hmm. and you go, well, it didn't get me heat right away, mm -hmm. and you start pushing the button again, the computer in here will get ticked off at you, uh. and it'll lock up and it'll start flashing. Okay. Okay? And it'll go, hey, you dummy, I don't know what you want, and yeah. it just stops and locks. Uh. And now you'll sit here cold, okay? Yeah. And you'll call Larry and you'll go, well, how do I fix that? Yeah. Okay. Reset it? Yeah. So you have to pull the panels out here mm -hmm. and there's a, actually it's that door on the other side. Um, I don't think there's fuse panels back here. I think they're all over there in the DC panel. And the one that says heater, mm -hmm. you have to pull the fuse out, count to 10, put the thing back in again, and you're good to go. And does this run off of uh, shore power? Oh, diesel. It's a diesel heater oh, okay. that runs off the big giant fuel tank back oh, there. So it'll run a long time. Oh, nice. And the dip tube for the heater only goes down to about a quarter of a tank. So, so you can't ever run you out can't, of diesel. You can't run your boat so it won't run right. with okay. this uh, heater, okay? Okay. 
but a uh, wonderful deal. Um, but if you if you get um, if, and then sometimes it will go through the eight minute cycle. Let's say you haven't used it for mm -hmm. eight months all winter long or all summer long. Mm -hmm. And then you go to turn it on. Mm -hmm. It might not in the first eight minute startup cycle go and start because the fluid, it's a tiny eighth inch line will slowly over the summer drain its way back to the tank. Mm -hmm. And that first cycle might Primes not, it. It, it might be a priming kind of yeah, event. Got it. Yeah. And okay. so what you wait eight minutes and see what it does. And if it doesn't go, then, you know, I'd wait another five minutes and try it try again. again. Okay. We have more trouble with people pushing the button too many times. Sure. You know, they get frustrated and they're impatient. You know, I can relate to that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's see. I'm not going to go behind the dash. There's a lot of cool stuff there and it's beautiful, but there's not a lot of owner service kind we've of things. Shown there. It on the video yeah, we've shown it on the other videos. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put this hatch side. back and yeah. good to go. So Amanda, this is the Starbird Queen Stateroom here. And, uh, you know, most people wouldn't realize there's a bunch of machinery and stuff. There's a big machinery space at the back of this. And it's got um, the generator battery, the start battery, and the extra house battery there. It also has the water lift muffler. And if you're going to do an engine alignment, there's a cover that's removable so you can get to the, you know, the, the forward end of the engine mounts to align the engine. Pretty nicely done in here. And these cushions are split, so you can just lift it up and slide it out of the way. And uh, take a look at how the vinyl works down here. Yeah. I mean, it's all just absolute yacht all the way. And mm -hmm. there's a nice little skylight here, too. And then there's a hanging locker in here, too, with a light that comes on automatically. Um, and you've got uh, uh, light switches right here, 110 volt outlet, 12 volt outlet here. This is a duct here for the furnace. So if we turn that on, the furnace is right behind the hatch here. This would have been blowing warm air in mm -hmm. here. And notice that the doors all have grills in them yes. on an Aspen so that you get full airflow throughout. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be kind of a Larry Crawls in here deal. And um, they've got all the curtains in. I'm not sure why they did that, but we'll uh, push those out of the way. Oops, Oops it hit the light. I hit the light. <laughs> there we go. And um, these are bread, bed breather pads. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of guys don't do them, but what it does is it keeps air flowing underneath the mattress so that you don't have uh, any humidity or mold. Any, any mold underneath mm -hmm. there. So then once that's up, um, this comes up here. And uh, I'm, gonna place that up I'm not going to do both of them. This one. Uh, but you get the idea here. I'll get out of the way. Um, yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. So this hatch comes up here, and uh, there's this little snap right here, and there's the extra three batteries. I see. Okay, and they're all labeled right underneath, you know, back here under the hinge as to what they are. Look at the big heavy-duty cables everywhere, mm -hmm. double lot type stuff, mm -hmm. real high-quality AGM batteries. Um, and then the other thing that's here, water lift muffler. And if you reach over the top and look at the back of the muffler, there's actually a valve we add in there. Right here, I'll hold it. Mm -hmm. Right on the back of the muffler there is a little um, valve so that you can drain the muffler. Let's say that you were having oh, trouble you starting the that. engine mm -hmm. and you fill the muffler up. You don't want to have that back up into the engine. That would be bad. Um, this is that great big um, Johnson diaphragm pump. It'll pump concrete, actually. <laughs> um, and this is triple-walled uh, uh, Trident hose made in the United States. So you don't have any smells mm -hmm. from the waste tank, and this is where it pumps out and goes that direction. Mm -hmm. um, this panel here is all removable. You see the little latches, the yep. black latches? Yep. Those come off, and now you can get in to um, do the engine alignments and things like that. It is a beautiful area where you've got um, a hub for the engine on the right, and then there's a uh, master volt battery charger there. And then if you look a little farther forward there, You've got um, all the ground buses and stuff coming together there. So um, extremely nicely done. Everything labeled. Super good sound deadening everywhere. And then double clamps on all of the muffler stuff and uh, silicone connections too. Um, really nice. I could. So look at this shelf here, all sealed with urethane on mm -hmm. both sides and yeah. sounded. Yeah. So um, nice. just as nice as it can possibly be. Certainly. Yeah. For the person in okay. this room here. Now we're going to put the tabs back. 
the breather pads, and then there's a great big window here on the side. Yeah, and a, and a skylight and even a out here. A great big one here for ventilation, and yep. then these lights are all adjustable for. Uh, yeah. These pads are really nice too. So these mattresses, um, Amanda, are. Mm -hmm triple density foam. So the bottom layer is three quarter inch of closed cell foam, three inches of mattress foam, and then a two inch special topper foam. Mm -hmm. Took us a couple of, uh, well, we built five prototypes before we got this just right. Yeah, it's it's, it's really, really comfy. good. And yeah. it's not too thick. Doesn't waste a lot of space. Yeah. We are in the starboard companion way. And this is a kind of a machinery space that's easy to miss. But uh, this notice how the cabinet has all got grills and stuff mm -hmm. in it. So this is where your inverter is at, and it's your inverter charger from Magnum. Uh, and this is also a company from Washington State. And then Wallace heaters, these are diesel heaters um, that are from, I think, Sweden. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, super reliable heaters. I mean, I've sold probably 1,200 of these over the last 20 years, and I think I've had to work on three. Wow. Um, so wonderful heaters, and they're really quiet, too. I wish I built a, an RV uh, snowmobile trailer thing recently and I put in a big gas furnace mm -hmm. so I wish I had bought one of these puts out a ton of heat and it's real quiet mm -hmm. um, but uh, so not really a lot to do here notice how there's a little shelf here of, of uh, aluminum mm -hmm. the idea is that if this ever did have a drip that it wouldn't drip into, into the, the, inverter. the inverter I mm -hmm. just felt like we needed to do that um, the other little device that's down in the corner here, a little harder to see, you may have to stretch forward. Mm -hmm. This is a check valve for the sink right over here. Okay. The sink doesn't drain. Sometimes the check valve has gotten a little bit of salt in it and it's kind of plugged up. So usually you can fix it by just pouring hot water down the sink and melting in of the salt out of it. Mm -hmm. This is just a heater duct that comes out and um, and this pumps heat up in behind and runs it up into the stateroom and so forth. And then over into so the So the other thing that's right here is this space right here. Um, this is where the power comes out of the house battery bank. It comes in, goes through this, um, uh, uh, well, goes through the fuse and then into the on-off switch. Mm -hmm. And if you've got um, too many electric heaters running, this thing will actually pop the fuse. Mm. And so you should have a spare um, fuse. I think it's 250 amps. Um, and when we were doing the trip to Alaska, that particular boat was going to Florida afterwards. And so he didn't have um, mm -hmm. any heater in it. So we ended up running electric heaters a lot and we mm -hmm. kept, we'd turn off the generator and the electric heaters would come on and run through this thing and we'd pop, we pop two of those fuses. Yeah. So I got good at changing them. It's pretty <laughs> easy. It's just a half inch bolt and you pop them out. Got to be really careful with this though because those are huge cables at 12 volts mm -hmm. and you don't want wet hands or anything like that you want to turn off the power to it and turn off everything you can and then change it um, mm -hmm. and be careful while you do it but um, pretty straightforward great equipment little tiny drawer here yeah you know the junk drawer yeah gotta have that everybody's gotta have that yeah but again super nicely done very nice okay. love the doors Okay, so one other feature that people don't realize that you got this beautiful teak headboard and it's got all the grills and vents. There's an air conditioner behind here, um, but there's actually a TV here too man, that comes right in there. Wow. And then you've got a remote control, so, um, you know, kind of fun. Very nice. Um, the other space that people don't realize, so you have the hanging locker here. Notice the pie there? Mm -hmm. There's some fittings behind that. So I don't have anything in the boat that you can't get to. I That's hate nice. things that you can't get to. But look at this. This comes up here. And there's uh, a big storage area down in here and a bilge pump. Oh, wow. Okay. And if you get air conditioning in the bow of the boat, then there's a air conditioning pump right there and a filter and a strain or two. Mm -hmm. Okay, and again, look at how the back side of that's all done and finished, all carpet wrapped, really nicely done. Beautiful. But this is would be where that um, bow air conditioner pump typically goes. Okay. These floorboards come up too, and there's molded in fiberglass storage space underneath. Nice. And then this is more storage here, mm -hmm. and then storage here, and then you actually have some drawers and stuff here nice. as well. Yeah. Um, and we're here, maybe we should pop the um, cover off here since we're 
right here and just take a look and see. So this thing comes, uh, you gotta rotate it out of the way and then it drops and tips out, okay? And let me plug this light in here and we'll give you some overview of that, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and, and if we take a look through here, you see how everything is labeled? Um, and the wiring is just perfect. All the colors even run in unison. I mean, it's it's about as tight as it can possibly be. Stereo amplifier here. Sometimes people get bigger stereos and sometimes we'll get a big subwoofer in this area. And then this is the bottom of the uh, washer pump. And there's actually some lights up in the corner of this too. Yeah, you can see the lights. And uh, yeah. Nicely done. Easy to work on. Very nicely done. I must say that is <laughs> one of the proud spots of the Aspen. That's it. All right. I think that's it for this. Okay.